So we have the capacity to examine items. We now have the capacity to take items, which are now taken out of the room and added to our inventory. But we don't yet have the capacity to display what is in our inventory. And that's what we're going to add next. So we are going to open up interactable items. And in interactable items, let's put this, let's put it under get objects not in inventory. We are going to add a, let me scroll down so it's a little higher up on the screen, public void display inventory. And we are going to log string with return on the controller. You look in your backpack. Inside you have some stuff. Inside you have a for loop. And in that for loop, we're going to loop over nouns in inventory dot count because it's a list. And we're going to say controller dot log string with return nouns in inventory i. And that's it. We're just going to list out everything in the inventory with a little prefix saying you look in your backpack. And all we need to do is call this function using an input action. So we're just going to save this, return to Unity, make a new script called inventory. And delete start an update. This is going to also inherit from input action. It's also going to get the create asset menu attribute. Inventory. And it's going to override respond to input. And so we are going to call controller dot interactable items dot display inventory. And it's literally that simple. Save and let's create an action for it. Right click on input actions, create text adventure input actions inventory. Call it inventory and give it the keyword inventory. And Add it to the game controller. Boop. And test. So take skull, inventory. You look in your backpack, inside you have skull. So it's going to display a list of nouns for the things that you've collected. So now we can examine items, take them and put them in our backpack, look in our backpack to see what we have. The next step is going to be to create an action to allow players to use items in their inventory. And because this is going to change the state of the game, right, and move us to a different room and do a few things, we're going to need a couple of pieces of script to support it. Uh, and so we're going to create that next. How hard is it to reorder an array of serialized object? You know, there is actually a new, it's an undocumented class called, I think it's a class called the reorderable list, which I will remind me at the end of the training and I'll show you a blog post that I was just looking at about this. It's undocumented, which means it's in the unity engine dot internal namespace, I think. Um, which means that it might just change or get taken away or so don't like build your whole game around it, right? Because who knows what will happen. But I assume that once they figure out exactly what they want to do with it, they'll move it out into the regular Unity engine namespace and then you'll be able to use it. But normally arrays are not reorderable, which is kind of annoying. So that is going to be a, a thing that's going to be helpful for that.